Hey everyone, it's Kip from BeerCast and I'm here to talk about the SS BrewTech Brew Kettle. Now the Brew Kettle comes in three different sizes, 10, 15, and 20 gallons, and it comes standard with a three-piece ball valve and a tube dam. Um, the thermometer is separate. Each kettle is outfitted with heavy-duty handles with a silicon coating. It's heat resistant and you can lift a full pot of wort. Both the thermometer and the ball valve are weldless fittings, so you're going to have to install those as soon as you unpack the kettle. Um, if you don't want to install a thermometer, you can use this plug that's included in the system. Coming standard with each kettle is a troop dam. Now this is a nifty little gadget. It's a stainless blade that gets covered by a silicon rubber squeegee. Now this is designed to keep the hop particulate and tube from going into the pickup tube, which is right here. I really liked how easy it was to install. It just popped right in. There's no uh, tightening or Allen wrenches involved, so it's really easy. The inside of the kettle is etched with gallon markings, which makes it really easy to see how much wort you've got going. I took this kettle for a test drive with the Vandal Eyes PA. It's a kit from Northern Brewer. I typically make my own recipes, but a Will Wheaton beer recipe is a little hard for me to pass up because I'm such a geek. Brew day got started promptly at 6.30. I have a system with a March pump and I'm circulating the mash right here. It's pretty rudimentary. The SS BrewTech kettle is definitely the nicest piece of equipment that I have. I was looking for a resting temperature of 154 for an hour before I got fly sparging. And here it is coming into the kettle. Really, really nice color. It's those half inch stainless quick disconnects that you can get from more beer. It makes the day so much easier. One thing I like about this kettle is the placement of the thermometer. It's low enough to read five gallon batches. You don't have to brew a full 10, 15, or 20 gallons. Boil almost up, I'm setting up the cold line and I'm going to be racking into a seven gallon chronicle also from SS BrewTech. All that's left is the Whirlpool and testing out the Troop Dam. Brewing into a conical is so awesome. If you haven't done it, you gotta try. Here's the dam in action, deflecting most of the troop. You can see the flow on the side. It does a pretty good job of deflecting the troop. You can see how much is left over here. I mean, all of that would be in your beer, but now it's just left in the kettle. The kettle is great. It's really well constructed. Um, it's easy to assemble. The handles are fantastic. The Troop Dam's cool. It's a good price. And uh, if you're in the market for a kettle, you should definitely check it out at ssbrewtech.com. Thanks for watching. For the written article, go to beercast.com. Until then, follow the love.